my name is what they read. Ten keys to exchange, exchange your creativity. Well, you know what? In real life, we need to be really creative to do a lot of our things, right? But not all people have their creativity when they were born. Well, we're going to be learning about 10 keys to make your priority be bigger or maybe you can get more creativities. Well, let's get started. Okay, first, challenge, assumptions, ask more. Ask more about the things that you don't know or maybe a thing that you already know. Like if, why is the sky was blue? Why was the leaf is green? <laughs> yes, that's right. Ask your morals, maybe. Um... Um, how was I was born? Um, how old? How old is maybe your grandmother's grandfather's? Ask anything that you can think for. When you ask though, you can get more information about the thing and you can know better about the things. That's a way of exchange your creativities. Well, next. Masters your craft or refine your skills. Masters the skills and refine the skills that you're doing. Maybe you're playing on the guitar. Just think about playing the guitar before you play our instruments. Play it to be a master at the guitar or other things. Then move to the others. Don't just go there, go there, go there. That can't make you be more creative. You can't think more and you will need to remember a lot more. Well, master one, move to another one, master that, master those, master others, that's better. Next, be curious and willing to experiment. Be curious about the things that you're having, as if, um, you know, um, why? And do some experiments. Experiments in your life as if um, stacking the blocks at the bottom, seeing how many can we stack, trying to um, trying to count our circle without drawing first. This is right. There's a lot of experiments that we can do to exchange our activities. Next, enjoy the process, not just the results. Remember, enjoy the process. Maybe you're playing a rubik. Enjoy the time when you're proving that the rubik was kind of like changing. Enjoy that process, not just the result. Remember it, okay? They're more than just thinking about the result, okay? So that's just four ways we have 10 keys. Well, let's move to the six more 10 keys. Still six more keys. Ask what if? Ask maybe. Um, here we have is you know a pillow. It's usually for play. Or well, here someone can take a sleep on the car. What if? Well, I ask. What if I don't use it on my car? And then just take a usual sleep, but what happens? Ask what if? What if the sky was um, yellow? What if my table is bigger? What if my laptop here is newer? What if my house here is fancier? What if I will be a million? Um, millionaires? Yes, there are different things for you to think about. Okay, well, 10 keys. That's just five keys. Come to our five keys. Coming to the sixth trip. Follow your passions. First, when you're doing this, set a goal. Set a goal, okay? I'm gonna. I'm, I need to be more creative. Follow your own goals. Don't follow our goals or just get to our goals. Like if 
Oh, I can't make these. It's just too hard. I think I'll just change. No, just follow your passions. Just think about your passions. Don't think about others. Okay. That's passions. Follow your passions. Everything will be okay. Well, that's follow your passion. Next, um, do you usually daydreaming? That means that it's dreaming about something. Well, I want to say daydreaming was not bad. It's okay, but. Okay, in different times. If it's good but not active in a nice time, then it won't be nice anymore. Well, give yourself a real time. That doesn't. That may be the time when you relax or the time that you're not busy. Give yourself time for daydreaming. Don't just daydreaming while you're working as if uh, we're doing math problems. Think of what if I don't study math. No, don't no, daydreaming while you're doing something, especially daydreaming about some things that you're doing. As if when you're doing math, but you're daydreaming of not doing math anymore, you can't active your math goings on doing those. But remember, daydreamings. Okay, so remember, daydreaming was good, but in a nice time. Not good in time where it's not correct. Okay. Next, spend time in nature. If your house is gardens or whatever, go look out. Spend time with nature. Go discover what kind of flower is that. What color is that? Hey, what's that animals? Hey, what's that leaf? What's the name of them? Spend more time in nature, and you will be really surprised by the things that you. Will get to learn by nature. Yeah. Make something with visuals. Don't just write words. Draw those ideas out. That'll be a better idea. Make it visuals by adding more pictures. Adding pictures can help your mind to be much more creative. You know, many kids have their Right brain as the main brain. The right brain is usually used for those ideas, and you know what? Those ideas that are drawn down really does helps kids to understand more. Yeah, really. Two last one. Discover which activities put you in a creative state. Discover what kind of activity or sport that you really like the best that can active your creative. Just try it. Just do it. Begin where you are with what you have. Begin right now. Don't think, okay, I need to practice this. Wait for me. No, just start right away. Well, that's it. Ten keys to change your creativity. Now it's time to say bye. See you.